Hey there, all you beautiful Broadway babies. Welcome back to Broadway by Ghostlight and another Prop Table Tuesday. I'm Mark Bonani, and if I sound a little funny, or a little funnier than usual, I guess, I am a little under the weather. Not COVID, knock on wood, but uh, just a gnarly cold. Me and my girls keep giving back and forth to each other in an endless loop of misery. Everything hurts, and I'm dying. But the prop stops for no one, so let's get into this week's selection. I have a few canes and walking sticks in my collection. I shared one a few weeks ago that belonged to Gavin Creel's character in She Loves Me, which he was kind enough to speak to me about for a bit. If you haven't watched that one, be sure to check it out after this. It's pretty fun. And today is another amazing artifact from the walking stick wing of the Broadway by Ghostlight Museum of Broadway Oddities. That's a fun name. I think I'll keep that. It's a good name. Mm -hmm. Showboat is of course a monumental milestone in the history of American musical theater. I certainly don't have time to get into all of it here, but its importance to the canon is massive. And the 1994 Broadway revival of the legendary musical was a Tony Award winning smash. The production, which opened at the Gershwin Theater, was directed by Hal Prince and choreographed by Susan Stroman. It boasted an incredible cast, including Rebecca Luker, Elaine Stritch, Michael Bell, Gretha Boston, John McMartin, and Mark Jacoby in the role of heartthrob riverboat gambler Gaylord Ravenall. And part of his signature look for the role was his walking stick. Ba-boom! Looking for this? Look at that. This is Mark Jacoby's walking stick from Showboat. Now, the really cool thing about this, and I know this because I won this from an auction, and so I was able to learn this specifically, and, uh, well, so for the entire run of the Broadway revival, uh, Mark Jacoby only used one walking stick. It's written here by Mr. Jacoby. Mark Jacoby, Ravenal in Showboat, Gershwin Theater, New York City, October 2nd, 1994, to October 1st, 1995. While the dates he wrote are only the Broadway uh, dates, I believe I remember from the uh, auction listing that I got this from, so uh, if Mr. Jacoby's watching, correct me if I'm wrong. But not only was this the only walking stick he used for the Broadway production, but also for the entire pre-Broadway production in Toronto, again, through the Broadway production, and then the first national tour that he was a part of, he only used one walking stick, and this is that unique stick. That is pretty amazing and pretty awesome. Yeah, those mean the same thing, but okay. So it's uh, fairly plain. It doesn't have any kind of metal tip. It's wood, clearly. It's obviously had some wear from years and tons of shows. Uh, the top is some kind of metal. Is that plastic or is that metal? No, that's metal. It's just, I don't know, copper, tin. I don't know. I'm not a metal smith, people. I'm a theater guy. This is just such a fun prop. I love that I have this walking stick collection for some reason. Uh, I've got plenty more walking sticks I can share with you guys in future prop videos. Let me know if you want to see more walking sticks for some reason. Uh, they're actually pretty cool, I think. I just feel so honored to have this piece of uh, American musical theater revival history, I guess. Um, I don't know. I'm a crazy person right now. Were any of you lucky enough to see that 1994 revival in any of its incarnations? I think I saw the tour when I was a young kid, if I'm not mistaken. Again, let me know what props you guys want to see. If I've got them, I'll show them. Make sure you're following me on all the socials at B-Way Ghostlight. I'm there on Instagram, on Twitter, on Hive, I guess, and also a Patreon. I know I owe you guys a Patreon uh, sort of launch video explaining what Patreon is and what you can expect from me there. Um, but if you want a little sneak peek now, go ahead and check me out on Patreon. I'll put a link in the description. Make sure and like this video. It helps me out so much and it doesn't take too much on your part. You just gotta click that little like button. It really does help out. Make sure you subscribe so you never miss a chaotic Prop Table Tuesday 
Hopefully next week I'll be feeling a little better. But until next Tuesday, this is Broadway by Ghostlight. I'm Mark Benani. Thank you all for watching. Did any of that make sense?